As an athlete, performer, or competitor, that negative, destructive tape or voice or recording in your head, it will hurt your ability to perform and is one of the major mental blocks. I operate under this principle. Performance equals potential minus interference. Meaning, you will play, compete, or perform your best when you have no interference or mental emotional blocks. Now, to be able to clear this mental block, the negative mind we call it, it's extremely helpful to understand it first and then we can take it apart. Now let me explain your solution to this problem using my four step race formula for mental toughness, which I developed from experience working with thousands of athletes worldwide, performers, all ages, this is the vehicle that will transport you to clearing this block. It's what I use for everything now to help my clients acquire mental toughness and starts with R. That stands for relentless. What that means is you must be relentless about your ability and your desire to change these automatic thought responses that seemingly are out of your control. They are not and I give you the tools to believe you can change them and to actually do it. You just cannot give up on it and I promise you it will go away. This video starts the process for you right now. A, that stands for awareness. So let's go there for this mental block, the negative mind. What it is, is it's a destructive, to your performance, destructive occurrence that originates actually from a very useful natural function, your problem solving ability. So let's call it the analytical function. Everybody has this function to some degree and it helps you figure things out. Now it's normally a very helpful and useful mental gift that you have. And those that have this function to a very high degree, they have to be extremely careful. Because when it comes to sports and performing, what happens is this function gets corrupted. It's just like a virus corrupting a computer program or an app. And this mental virus, if you will, it gets into your bio-operating system and then turns your analytical function against your goals and desires. It's all automatic once the virus gets inside the system and no matter how much mental willpower you try to come up with to, to counter it, it'll always win. I'm sure you've noticed that. Because it's much more powerful than any willpower you have. Now to fix this, most coaches and sports psychologists try to give you simple advice like stop overthinking and use positive self-talk or you just have to believe in yourself. That's such garbage! Like you didn't already know that. Yeah, thanks for that brilliant advice, coach. I'll just do that now since you've told me it. It's not that easy, is it? You've got to go to the source of the problem and get rid of it there. Which brings us to C, clear. You see, I believe there is always a reason why we do everything we do. And there is a reason why we respond and react like we do. And that goes for the negative mind just the same. You have to clear the reason why the analytical function is turned against you. And here's the kicker. You have to do it at that inner mind programming or bodily level I talked about. You just can't think about it up here and expect it to go away. The mental virus is otherwise known as a belief or belief structure. And once these things get embedded into your inner mind programming, you have to come up with a counter belief that is powerful enough to dissolve it. And then you have to get that into where the programming lives, your bio operating system, which is your body. Typical mental viruses or beliefs I help my clients destroy are, I'm not good enough. I don't deserve to win. I'm too small. I'm not fast enough. I'm not big enough. Other people win, not me. I can't. Fill in the blanks. So to clear those kinds of bodily programs, you have to have the right counter thought for you. And you have to get it from your head to your body. And how do we do that? Well, I could teach about, I could teach about that for hours. And that principle runs through everything I do, including right now. 
and it's the reason why I have such a high success rate with my clients. But the gist of it is for you, right here, right now, the best way to get to your inner mind is to intend to do so and practice doing so. Now I do this for my clients in part with guided visualization. Well, let's move on to E, emotional mastery. This is the final piece for that negative mind. Now believe it or not, that negative mind actually wants you to succeed. It thinks that the best way to do that for you is to get you all pumped up and to think fast in order to foresee every possible problem and to solve them when they come up. And sometimes this can work, but most of the time it doesn't. Because performing your best happens when you're in that peak performance state. Your state is comprised of two parts. One, how you're thinking, and two, how you're feeling. You have to not only master your mind and its programming, but also your bodily feelings. For instance, what if you were to gather up all your willpower and temporarily crowd your mind with nothing but positive thoughts and, and be thinking confidence, 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 and yet while you're doing that thinking confidence, your body is too pumped up or you're not pumped up enough for what you need to do to perform your best, right? All that positive thinking is for nothing. Thoughts lead to emotions, which lead to bodily feelings, which lead to performance and actions. If the, negative, if the negative mind is your challenge, the race formula is designed to replace the virus with trust. Now I'm going to send you an email tomorrow to pick up where I left off here to give you more tools for all of this. Look for it. The race formula always works when you work it. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this.